Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today's a very special uh, Reunion 2020 uh, episode where I bring on guests that I've had on in the past, and I like them so much I wanted them to come back. Um, so today I have Wes Schaefer on the line, and he is the founder over at The Sales Whisperer. Wes, welcome to the show. Adam, you're a great judge of character, man. I love it. That's a come on. Flattery <laughs> will get you everywhere with me, Wes. You know that. <laughs> so um, great to have you back on the show, of course. And um, I, I want to, for the listeners that uh, that didn't catch your first show, I definitely want to tell you go back uh, through the catalog and and look up Wes Schaefer. You're going to want to hear that, hear about his backstory, some awesome stuff there. Um, but for today, uh, just to give him a, a little bit of a primer, let's get into um, what you're doing over at the Sales Whisper. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Man, I help people sell more faster and higher margins, with less stress and more fun, and I guarantee it, all right? Is that enough? Do you need more detail than that? Because that's all that really matters, isn't it? So more sales, more sales, more sales. That's what I'm hearing, right? <laughs> with less stress and even have fun doing it. You know, the funny thing is, like, deep down, I kind of hate sales. Uh, at least in the traditional sense, the, the hard charging, the pushy, you know, the alternate of choice clothes is, hey, I'm going to be in your neighborhood, you know, Wednesday or Thursday, which would be better, morning or afternoon, uh, and all the games. Uh, you can be great at sales, and I think you can only be great at sales by truly treating it as a profession, um, seeking to serve your clientele, uh, digging in to find exactly what they need, um, and then helping them get that, even if it means – they buy from your competitor. Um, if, you, if you take that approach, you're going to have a long, prosperous life in sales. And that's awesome. I love it. Um, and uh, speaking of long, prosperous lives in sales, um, I want to switch it up a bit. I do want to get into some of the things that you're that you're doing um, now. So uh, first off, let's just start with uh, this uh, sales training camp you have coming up in Austin. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, you know, when I started Sales Whisper in 2006, um, I used to do little short workshops. I'd, I'd cold call, I didn't even have a website, and I would invite people to a workshop at the Chamber of Commerce, which gave you a free conference room if you were a member way back in the day. Uh, and then I started doing one-day workshops, and then I was hired by Dell when they were deploying Salesforce.com, and we would do a, a two-day workshop. It was part CRM, part sales. Um, and over the years, I just slowly got away from them. You know, I was, it's crazy how we do things. It's almost like when you, uh, one day your, your pants don't fit. You're like, whoa, how'd this happen? You know, well, it happened mm -hmm. in the last six months. You didn't take care of yourself. <laughs> and so I'm kind of, like you said, getting the band back together. I'm um, bringing back what I, what I love doing is the live events. Uh, but the sad reality is the live events, only have a short-term impact. It's just like if you, you know, went to a golf camp. You know, hey, I'm going to go two days. I'm going to go hang out with these golf pros and get all these great lessons, and you're going to learn some things. But when you go back home in your, in your weekend, uh, you know, tournament, playing with your buddies, you know, a, a quarter, a hole, you know, now the pressure's on because now it means something. And then you're going to see just how good – were those lessons. And if you don't have reinforcement training, the, the lessons are going to wear off. Okay, so this two-day training is not until late April. Um, and there's only about 40 people that can attend. It's just going to be a, a small conference room, small meeting room at a, at a hotel outside of Austin. Uh, I want it to be small. I don't like the big mega things. Uh, but what I'm doing to help people gear up is that when you enroll, you're going to be in my online community where I do live calls every single week. They're recorded. They're interactive. Um, so you're going to have, if you sign up now, I mean, you're going to have almost four months of training leading up to the two-day event. So 
you can put things into practice and then solidify them the, uh, in the workshop. So, and that's, that's awesome. what I'm putting on, man, because it's Let's, good. Uh, I know it works. I, I, oh, I do too, and I'm I'm excited to hear that you're 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 going back in person. And the thing is, for everybody listening, uh, don't take it for granted when a guy like Les does an in-person event. And the reason I say that is, in-person is hard. I'm always asked to do these type of things, and I like to, to put on conferences. I don't care if it's ten people; it's tricky. And 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 what becomes tricky about it is there's a lot of planning that goes involved. Um, so so just to put just to be clear, Wes could just as easily focus on only the online community um, and and have a lot less headache from putting on a big event than doing that. So I know because I know the back end of how all these things work that the the big um, want for Wes in doing this is because he cares. He cares about his community. He cares about the people that he's teaching. Um, and, and by the way, I guess that doesn't, well, wait, let me rephrase that. That doesn't mean that I don't care. I just don't have the bandwidth. It's hard to put on those big events of what you're doing. Um, it takes a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of planning. I care too. Don't worry, everybody listening. But I care more to, to record these episodes for you to hear. Um, so what kind of, um, what is a what is a West Schaefer um, event look like? Let's start there because um, some of the people listening haven't been to a sales um, conference or a sales training, and some have but maybe don't think that they – quite, um, they don't know if this is one that they need to go to another one for. Like, are they going to learn anything new? Right. Yeah, this is, and I don't even know if I'd call it a conference. It's more of a workshop. Like I said, it's going to be, technically, it's two and a half days. If you can get in the first night, uh, dinner's included, uh, and all meals are included, it's all two and a half days. Uh, and the reason I'm limiting the size is so you can have a table, right? We're going to have, so you're going to be comfortable, you can take notes. Uh, it's going to be a lot of give and take. It's not me sitting up there teaching another methodology. Okay, I'm not teaching you a bunch of crazy acronyms. Everybody, I just heard the whole audience. I heard the feedback. They went, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very give and take. I remember when I did my very first one-day workshop, uh, it was the summer of 07. Uh, I did it at a winery here in Temecula. Uh, the nice little conference room they had. And actually, we I, I oversold it, <laughs> uh, and we were stuffed. So we had a nice big conference table, and people were along the walls. Uh, we filmed the whole thing. A friend of mine came to town and was filming it. And he's a very um, marketing-minded, creative type. And and I opened the thing up to, to questions. I challenged me at any time. And this woman, man, she got after me on, on one <laughs> point. And when we were done... Michael was saying, man, she was like, cause she was a very analytical type. And, mm-hmm. and the things I was teaching, it was just, it was hurting her mind, right? It was hurting mm-hmm. her frame of reference, her, her cognitive bias, right? Uh, but it was true. And, and I can handle it, right? And Michael said, man, she was, she was getting upset and challenging you. And I thought, oh, man, she's just going to derail the whole thing. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Poor Wes, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, man, you just you roll with it. You handle it. You answer her questions. Man, she was nodding by the end. You know, he's like, oh, my gosh, this is, like, so awesome. And so it's, it's a lot of give and take. And by keeping it small, everyone's going to have a chance to ask questions uh, if, they, if they have an issue. Uh, there's, and because we're leading up to it, right, they're going to have a chance to go through. i got, like, an 80-page workbook. Uh, 41 pre-recorded videos, uh, and again, they can ask questions all along. So you can really start to hone in and practice some things. Uh, so that way, you're not showing up cold, right? Mm-hmm. You're showing up with a baseline. Uh, so now you can work on the finer points in person, um, and and just really make a difference in your sales career. Uh, so it's it's very much give and take and, and interactive, not and it's in a small room. Right? It's not me on the stage. It's not a bunch of speakers on the stage. Mm. Uh, it's just going to be us. Man, that's awesome. Um, let's talk a little bit more about your online community because I do 100% agree with you that uh, you go to a conference once, and I'm not saying that people that use that model, it's wrong. I mean, I all, if I go to a conference and I get one thing from it or, or a workshop um, that, that changes my business, then obviously it was worth it. So I, I like both models, but I do prefer the community model that you're proposing. Tell us a little bit more about the community. Yeah, so it is – Everything right now is on Facebook uh, in a private group. I've pulled all the videos, all the files, all of the templates, uh, everything's there. 
and um, I'm going to, I'm actually working with my own coach. Uh, I'm going to be splitting things out, going to be on different platforms, all kind of packaged and cross-sells and upsells and all this good stuff that you always hear about. But I, I've kept things simple because I run it myself, and I put it all in one area. So when you join, um, and it's westmethod.com, um, you'll have access to everything. And, you know, I don't travel a whole lot. And so when you ask a question in the group, chances are I'll personally answer it that day, probably that hour. Uh, and sometimes people will ask something that's too too hard to, to type out efficiently. I'll make a video, you know, do a screen share and answer the question. And so uh, you get all of the content, all of the past calls are all recorded and archived you know, and going over cold calling, objection handling, copywriting, lead magnets, LinkedIn, I mean, how to launch a podcast, how to write a book. I mean, I I hold nothing back. If somebody asks a question, I'm going to answer it. Um, and I've been doing, been doing that group for, golly, six and a half years now. Wow. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of content. That is a whole lot of content. Um, the group alone, that's amazing. Uh, so, Wes, if somebody's listening to this and they want to follow up to learn more about uh, the web, uh, the Sales Whisperer, um, your conference, and um, your conference, or also uh, westmethod.com, um, what's the best route for them to connect? Yeah, well, just go there. Go to westmethod.com. It'll redirect to a landing page on my website. So from there, you can find me, right? All my contact info is in the footer, the social media the contact us page, uh, it's all there, you know, but um, I'd say jump, jump in the program for a couple of reasons. One, the price goes up in February. Two, you can bring a guest at half price. Uh, and three, the whole thing's guaranteed. So you can tell me, you can, you can attend even the, the, the conference and say, you know what, this is all terrible. Give me my money back. I'll give you money back. So, so jump in, right? Go westmethod.com. Um, and from there you can, easily connect with me however you prefer fantastic well hey Wes always a pleasure I'm glad to have you back in the show glad to hear that you're doing great things and uh, personally happy to hear that you're doing more in person now because uh, you're going to help a lot of people um, like you already are in your community and uh, to the audience as always thank you for tuning in I hope you got a lot of value out of this I hope you had a lot of fun um, we sure did um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store, uh, do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and Wes, thanks again for coming on.